don't structure correctly or if plans change, it can be a massive detriment down the track. Hey guys, uh, Justin Pickett back with another video for you. Just wanted to chat to you today about the importance of structuring your loans. Um, this is a really, really big one that we see where people have very good intentions and want to build portfolios or get, you know, investing with family members or buy big houses or whatever. Um, and if we don't structure correctly or if plans change, it can be a massive detriment down the track. So a couple of things that we really see here is, I'd say the most people that we deal with would be kind of investing in their personal name or maybe with their wife or partner or husband, um, whoever it might be. And um, basically they'll kind of go together, invest together, and that's a very common scenario. Um, if you're investing by yourself, also you know having that by yourself is another way to go and keep things simple. If obviously your own financial scenario changes, you're in your own control, um, not really kind of reliant on anyone else. Um, probably one of the biggest ones, um, purchasing say with family members and things like that, can be a little bit messy where you know you might have two brothers who are very young they purchase a the property together um, and then you know one brother wants to move overseas or the other one wants to sell the property or whatever the case is and you know because they're kind of linked together they need to have the same goal or vision so it can get a little bit messy if someone wants to sell and have you know kind of detrimental impacts on, on the relationship if the goals aren't aligned um, and we do see that happen that people in their 20s will have different goals when it comes to their 30s and 40s and stuff like that because you know kids they might get married whatever the case is so um, investing with family members, as long as you've kind of got a clear vision and strategy, is something that you know you want to cover all your bases there. But it is something before kids and you know getting married and stuff comes along, it can be a bit of a risky place. So just obviously, yeah, making sure you've got your structure set if you're going to invest with families. Um, obviously, for people who are in businesses and things like that, they may look at trust structures and you know discretionary trusts and unit trusts and those type of things as well. Something to consider again, obviously, best to speak to your accountant because there are pros and cons from either side. Um, and obviously, when we're looking at lending, we need to make sure we select the appropriate lenders and the parameters that will work best for that. Um, probably the biggest thing with our structures, though, is that if we get them incorrect, um, is that they can have those big impacts later on down the piece. So, you know, kind of setting up, a, you know, a purchase or you purchase a couple of properties with a family member and things go south. You know, if you had your kind of structure set separately, you know, and one person wants to sell or move on and it doesn't impact the other one, that's probably ideally what you want to be looking at. Um, otherwise, if we kind of got it all linked together, all our debts linked together, everything like that, and then the plan changes, then obviously we're in ourselves a, a bit of a hurdle to try and un untwine that um, and get you moving forward. So it's one of those things, obviously, if you're going to invest with other people, make sure that you've got all your, your bases covered and um, there are going to be a long-term vision that's going to be in line with yours as well. So. Um, if you have any questions about that, we need to talk about strategy before you get things off the ground. Please feel free to reach out and we can talk about some of the pros and cons we see with the lenders. Um, but also, yeah, hit up your solicitors, accountants, financial advisors for any more of those specific details um, before going ahead. Because, yeah, decisions today might have great, um, you know, intentions, can become quite messy down the track if we haven't got them sorted. But um, hopefully we'll be able to point you in the right direction to get you some finance as well. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just give us a call. Cheers.